Can I just be honest with you guys about something? Guys, I'm, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna have some real talk right now. I took months off league. Months. Everyone calling me washed, calling me bad, sitting there saying that the only reason why I stopped playing was to escape. Masters player at best, maybe can be grandmaster on a good day. All this bullshit, right? Time and time again, I've sat there and I've consistently proved myself. Challenger in four regions, challenger over the course of literal years, best Hecarim in the world. And the thing is that I genuinely thought that, that if I would sit here and I'd start grinding again and I would start like committing myself again and actually investing myself into the grind once more, that you know what? I'll be able to not only prove everyone wrong and be able to have this like triumphant return, but I'll be able to feel that drive again, you know? Because the truth is that the reason why I stopped playing League for months was for no reason other than the fact that I felt no drive anymore. For years I sat there and what drove me was the idea of getting rank 1, of getting these insane ranks, of holding these insane titles, these achievements, and having people sit there and look up to me. And have people respect me. And have people sit there and say, that guy, he's amazing. And then over the last year, multiple things happen. Multiple things don't go to plan. And then all of a sudden, it's like I'm, sit I'm sitting there and I just have no feelings left. None. No feelings of I want to grind. No feelings of I want to hit rank one. No feelings of I want to do anything other than just go to bed and restart the day over again. And the saddest thing about it is I genuinely thought that it would change. I genuinely thought that sitting here and grinding for Challenger and hitting Challenger again and getting close to Challenger would reinvigorate me. I thought that I would sit there when I'd see my LP going up and I would feel that fire again. I would feel that electricity in my fucking veins that drove me for years to push myself to the brink. But the truth is that sadly, it's just not like that. Like I'm queuing up, I'm one win from challenger, I'm two LP off, and I genuinely feel nothing! There's nothing there! But it's not because I don't care about the game anymore. And it's not because I don't have goals anymore. I think the reality is, guys, if you want the truth, that I've done this so many times. Time and time again, I've hit Challenger. I've hit the cutoff. I've broken past limits. I've gotten crazy win rates to this rank. And I think now it's just at a point where it's not going to do it anymore. Just hitting Challenger, hitting 500 LP or 800 LP or even 1000 LP or whatever the fuck the cutoff is, right? It just doesn't do anything for me anymore. Because I've been here so many fucking times. The truth is that I know is that for years I sat there and I was just content with hitting Challenger because I knew deep down in my subconscious when I hit it, it's going to be hype. And I'm a streamer that's just about hype and then things are going to go super well. But then if I have a few bad days, a few off fucking sessions and then I demote, well, you know what it is, what it is. I had my little bit of hype. I think what it is, is for the first time in a while, I need to sit there and I need to say, you know what? Why did I want to hit rank 1 in the first place? Why did I, all those years ago, as just a random 19-year-old kid, sit there and want to hit rank 1? And for everyone that's watched that speech, the Doanel rank 1 speech, you know what the answer is? It's because I wanted it for a message that anyone could do it, you know? That I was the guy that sat there, bronze, my first year of playing, hard stuck for literal years. And I wanted to be that guy that said, you know what, if I grind enough, I'll make it to the top. But the truth is that the one thing that I've never been at the top of, even after all these years, is the ranked leaderboard. And that's why now I'm loading into this game, right? And I know for a fact that if I 1v9 this game, my first thought isn't going to be, I know. My first thought isn't going to be, you know what? I hit challenger, I'm happy with that. My first thought's going to be, you know what? I cannot fucking wait to plant my ass in this fucking chair Monday morning at 7am, ingest 400 milligrams of caffeine, and see just how high in challenger I can run. 
So that's what I'm telling you. It's like right now, my top laner just gave first bud, lost both of his sums level one, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because the thing is, guys, that right now, I know that I'm going to 1v9 this game. I know I will. I know I'm going to have a perfect mentality, perfect mechanics, and I'm going to kill myself. Like, I... It's fun. Like... Okay, we got this shit. Let's go. Lock in, try hard, focus. It's fucking time now. Let's get it done, guys. Now, we need to run the rank one playlist. Let's go. Olaf trading one for isn't actually that bad, though. The only problem is that he might lose a lot of minions here. <sighs> Dude, I fucking tried. Like, I literally played around that perfectly and everything. The only problem is she has press the attack, so it's like, she gets 67 bonus damage and I get fuck all, you know what I mean? My assumption is that she already took that shit though, so I'm gonna go straight top crab and then we're gonna try something there. Okay. It's rough. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's fucking rough. One game from Challenger and it's fucking rough. But I wasn't expecting it to be easy. Alright, if I can just get refill clear off, then the good news is I'm like reset. It's okay. We got this show. I'm telling you guys, we got this show now. All I need is two kills. Two kills, I'll run over this entire game. Oh my god. Dude, this can't be serious. Bro, no, this can't be serious. No, this can't be actually serious, can it? Bro, where's my team? What the fuck is this? It's fine. Securing three grubs? While my team is behind us, the other is fucking criminal. Bro. Nice, good shit, bro, good shit. Bro, there's no way that the Nautilus is so invading me now, right? I swear to god that he fucking is. Like, this shit is unreal. It's fine. I have perfect mental. Perfect fucking mental right now. It's fine. <laughs> he at least isn't even here! Oh, wait, dude, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Whew, perfect mental, let's go. Alright, guys. Considering the fact I'm getting, like, fanboy this hard in my jungle, it ain't looking too fucking bad, let's just say that. Dragon is five minutes of scaling, guys. Which is what we fucking need right now, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest. Funnily enough, I'm actually up CS on the Elise right now. How fucking insane is that? Up six camps after what they did to me early game. Welcome to my fucking clown show, motherfucker. Welcome to the circus. Wait. Bro, they're literally 1 HP, all of them. Let's go. It's free grubs, let's go. Free grubs. Guys, just kill her, please. Nice! That's good! That's good, that's good, that's good. We take that, we take that, we take that. We fucking take that into the week. He just lost 10 magis, that's huge. Oh, I guess not. Dude, it's actually like insane to me though how every time I try doing any play, 
The NOS is just there. You know what I mean? Like, very good. I mean, if I want to revive Zark and Soul Kill the Fed and the Fury, it's looking good for us. That's all I'm gonna say. Come on. Yo, what's up, Nautilus? Who's getting ganked to now, motherfucker? I mean, you know what the thing I like about this game a lot is? The Nautilus have to ash alone all game, and our gen actually got ahead because of it. That's what I like. I got behind, Off got behind, Zara got behind, but our gen at least got ahead. It's not like Ash was uh, 2v1ing lane, 1v2, and uh, losing, you know? I want to hit this because I don't want to face check in case they're just waiting for me. Yep, there we go. See? That's exactly what was happening. Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, these team fights are like, I don't even know the fuck to play them. Oh no. Nice. Nice! Good. Wait, we actually secured third drag! Hold on, we're only one off soul. Oh, nice! It's okay. I'm almost the same level as Elise though, so we're actually coming back into it slowly. Then we could try for it actually. Nice. Ash hold on. NICE! NICE! I mean, they only have Ash or God Nautilus. I don't think they can do Baron with those two, right? They might be trying, though. We don't see them on the map. Dude, I, I really don't feel like they can. Me killing the Fury there might have saved us from losing Baron. Okay, come on. He's here, he's here. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Throw on it. We're good. I'm actually level up on Elise now. Or if she leveled up, I'm same level. Let's just say the gap has been bridged. Oh my god, what the fuck did she just do? I mean, if Tarika ults and we turn, we can win this. I kept my ult too. Let's go, we can get so! Let's go! What the fuck? Dude, I, I don't know what the fuck just happened. I just went halfway across the map.
See? Look at that call. Look at that call. Look at that call. Just got two turrets off it. Might make it three. I want to reset just like we don't randomly lose the game. Now I can shove out ball lane? And then after I shove this up, we can pressure third in hub. See, now we just got a group top, uh, group bot. So you guys see how literally just because I made that split push call, we got the inhib? You see that? Split push call literally just fucking got us an inhib. Grab this run and look for a fight. Crazy thing, I'm only 1400 down on the Elise after everything that happened early. They don't actually have any wave clear. We could just hard pressure this. Oh my god, what? NICE! <laughs> Dude, imagine after everything those FUCKERS did early! I'm telling you guys, it's actually time for the peak arc. Plus 24. Unofficial challenger. Nice. Isn't it insane to think that we queued up for nine hours today and we lost one game? That's fucking insane, no? Everyone calling you washed is now in shambles? Yeah, literally.